Good morning, folks. We begin day one of a week-long quake watch with increasing activity in South America, including an interplate quake in Brazil, another down south where the subduction meets the Fulton Rift, a five-pointer on the Pacific Ridge, and lots of little swarming. Also at a 5.5 in China that hit 5.9 on two separate meters. South of that, Sri Lanka is having major flooding. You can see the large amounts of rain here. Might also remember down south we have that tropical cyclone Baldwin weakening as it moves west. On the other side of Indonesia, another low is brewing. This is also headed straight west, but expected to become way more powerful. Eyes on this one. I suppose the flood warnings were legit. You folks were outstanding yesterday sharing the local weather, and these double lows are really the culprit of all of this. Watch the cyclonic flow of the clouds, and again, perhaps today is the day to ask for reports, so send them in. Tough to do much complaining about the southwest Pacific weather. We do have a chance of thunderstorms today and tomorrow as the southeast really begins to bake, but both west and New Zealand are going the opposite way on the thermometer. Zoomed in on the Texas-Oklahoma border, we got an isolated low spinning northern air straight south. The cold came with it, negative 30 up there at 5 a.m. eastern. We also have wind whipping across the northeast. May cause snowfall on Tuesday, but tonight, as this low moves towards Louisiana, a return to severe weather warning for you folks. Large North Pacific low has crept off the coast and is sparing the west from last week's rainfall. She's coming back this week though, more to come. This is from yesterday to demonstrate the inconsistency of our magnetic shield. Yesterday morning we took a solid CME impact and had virtually nothing happen, yet we have a small peak here in the yellow, the solar wind speed around 1500 UTC and our shield had a minor destabilization led in the same amount of plasma as from the entire CME impact, even produced a solid induction. Then we come to this morning. Two CMEs still on the way? Make that one. We'll have an obvious impact with spikes in density, speed, and temperature in the solar wind here. Magnetic reconnections taking place over the next few hours and we'll have to see if a storm is produced later. Also, this filament eruption is set to hit tonight, so may become a hodgepodge. Flaring activity could be picking up as well. Solar Watch accompanies the Quake Watch. Eyes on 11.620, two days ago this active region was literally nothing, and now it's on the verge of developing multiple delta spots of mixed magnetics in the smaller umbra between the larger leading and flanking spots. Oh, and last but not least, yeah, that's another filament ripping off at an earth-facing position. Impact will likely be Wednesday. How appropriate that the coronal hole is swinging into an earth-facing position on the equator just in time to ramp up the quake watch this week. This is the part where I follow up hundreds of hours of work by hoping to be dead wrong. It's an interesting feeling. Eyes open, no fear at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.